What's up guys, in today's video we're going to talk about what is it that you need to do to launch your restoration company in 2023. Guys, things have changed and I want to give you what I would do if I was starting all over again today. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to start this video keeping it simple. The biggest thing that I see is a bunch of mistakes that people make. So we're going to start with what you don't need to do, and we'll come back to what you need to do. OK, so the first thing you don't need to do is this. And I'm starting with this because these are things that you're going to do if you haven't already. and You don't need to. Number one, you don't need to build a website. Do not build a website. You can make a million dollars in a year from water damage restoration without a website. I can tell you more about it later, but don't get a website. Don't worry about a website. Don't worry about that. Okay. Number two, don't buy any equipment. Don't buy any gear. You don't need any just yet. If you're still preparing, if you've got your company, you don't need to go buy a bunch of gear. You don't know what gear you need. I'll walk you through that in a minute. But like what gear are you going to buy? Do you know what you need? Do you know what your first job is going to entail? Like go buy a DHU, go buy some fans and watch the first thing you need is like a hardwood mat system. Go do all of this and the first one you're going to need is a mold job, right? You don't know what you're going to need. You need to talk to somebody like me and I can walk you through it. Do not go buy a bunch of gear until we talk. Don't build a website. Don't get any gear. The third thing, you don't need a logo. You don't need a logo. Nobody cares about you. The next thing you don't need, you don't even need to name your business. You don't need to name your business. Guys, if you're just starting your company, naming your business matters, but it's not for the reasons that you think. Nobody cares what your third niece's middle name was, okay? If they live in Houston, Texas, and they got water damage, you might want to do like Houston's Best Water Damage Restoration Company. Like You want to name it something with the title of what you do and the location. That's what you want to do. That will help you score much higher on your GMB, and you have no idea what I'm even talking about. That's why you don't need to name your restoration company yet. You really don't. And if you've already named it, guess what? I'm probably going to advise you entertain the idea of a rebrand, potentially, okay? Because if you already do a bunch of other services and you're getting into water damage restoration, people need to know exactly who you are and what you do when they look at your name. Okay, and you want to appear for the right search for the right reason at the right time. If you have not yet named your company, do not name your company yet. So you don't need a logo. You don't need to name your company. You don't need any insurance. You don't need a business license. You don't need any of that yet. Dude, by the time I talk to you, I might talk you out of this. Okay, you don't need any insurance. You don't even know what insurance to get. You don't know what insurance to get. and We can walk you through that. You don't know like who to get it from or what's good or bad. How much? You have no idea. Don't worry about it. You don't need insurance either. You don't need to do any of that. Here's what I'm going to tell you to do. We are launching something brand new and special for startups, okay? And you can go to workwithshane.com and I will give you a better list of all the things you don't need to do and I will give you more elaborate detail on what you need to do, okay? At the time you watch this, we give you guys the documentation that you need to start your company, right? And just make sure that you don't make a whole bunch of mistakes. It's really, really good. We'll help you name your company, make sure that you get lined out with all that stuff. Why am I doing this? Why would I do that? because I want you to succeed and I don't want you to waste a bunch of money. First thing is just not make a bunch of mistakes, okay? Go to workwithshane.com and put in your information and we can talk about it. We can hop on a call and I can tell you more about it. But if you haven't launched a company, you don't want to do it yet. You will need to get your certifications. That's the one thing I'll tell you. You need to know how to dry a job. You don't need to have to have the equipment to dry a job, but you need to know how to dry a job. I'm gonna say that again. You don't need the gear to dry a job, but you need to know how to dry a job. So I'm gonna tell you, you do want to get your certifications. Go get your WRT and your ASD. If you want to know more about where to get it, go to Work Machine Wing Talk. But I would tell you, Jeremy Reitz is a great one down in Georgia, and they've got them in every big major city, okay? Nashville, they've got them. I'm sure they got them in Dallas. I know they got them in Atlanta. If you're in a city of over 2 million people, they definitely have a facility near you, I would imagine. But here's the biggest thing. I don't want you to waste a bunch of money and you need to take action and take the right action. Does that make sense? What you need to do and what I would recommend you do, it's gonna depend on your startup capital, okay? Like if you are in Kansas and you wanna to get to California, that's great, I wanna help you get there. Shane, how fast can I get there? Well, it depends. Like, can you afford a bus ticket? Can you afford an Uber? Can you afford some airfare? Can you afford to charter a jet yourself? Like. It's not about getting there. It's about the, the funds and resources you have will help determine how quickly you get there. And my advice for you will depend on what capital do you have to start with. Does that make sense? Because if you don't have enough to fuel the plane, I'm not gonna put you in a plane because I don't wanna kill you in a field in Kansas. 
it's just not gonna do you any good. Does that make sense? Hopefully this is helpful. The first thing that you're gonna need to do as you launch your restoration company is avoid the potential mistakes that most people make and then have your certification so you know how to drive the job, okay? And then you need to know where to get your jobs and where to get your leads. You need to know where to get the jobs and where to get your leads, and you need to know how to sign a job, okay? And we can walk you through that. You need someone to show you that. You do need to know what starting equipment to get, but you need to talk to somebody first, okay? That's just my advice for you. That's what I would do. If I was starting all over, I would find someone that would help me with something like what I just described to you, and I would say, hey, let's go do that. And so that's what I would tell you to do. Don't go spend a bunch of money. Don't make a bunch of mistakes that you don't need yet. You do want to get your WRT and your ASD certifications. WRT is your water. ASD is your applied structural drying. I mean, that much you do need. But once you've got that, then come into some type of entry program or somebody can walk you through the step-by-steps and the ABCs, okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Don't make the mistakes that everybody makes, okay? You don't need all that stuff. You need someone that can show you what you need and we need to know a little bit more about your resources before I can help you with that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you haven't yet, click on my face below and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, we put out new content each and every week. Also, if you want me to help you grow your company, go to workwithshane.com. Workwithshane.com, put in your information, we can get on a call and see how we can help you grow your company. Lastly, there'll be some other videos right here. If you want to watch more content about growing your restoration company, check out one of these videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.